back to another episode of The Checkout. I am Julius, a.k.a. Julius700, and we're back with another banger, folks. We are back with a brand new episode. Thank you for checking in once again. And today, we got a special one, folks. Yes, a special one. Today, we are going to go through my entire sneaker collection. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. I want to do something special because we just reached 300 subscribers. Yep. Clap it up, clap it up, 300 subscribers. Truly happy about that. Thank you for everyone that's been writing since day one, who's been appreciating, who's been supporting, who's been hitting that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Do that right now, please. Thank you. Road to 400 starts right now. And we'll be doing a very special video coming soon to celebrate this incredible accomplishment because I am beyond happy. Beyond happy. And... With that being said, I think we should just start with the sneaker collection. Now, I wanted to be very different from everyone. Um, most sneaker collections, like, they'll show you the shoes, they'll talk about the shoes. I I'm going to do that, but there's something different about my sneaker collection. So when you really look into my sneakers, right, there are certain objects in these sneakers. There are memories. So what I like to do is if I ever buy a pair of shoes, when I actually do wear them, because some shoes I haven't actually wore here, when I do wear them, I actually hold on to a special memory so if something very important happened to me that day or i got something very special i'll put it in that box with the sneaker so for example let's let's get to the very first shoe so these right here i did a sneaker review on these for most of you no these were the air max 97 la mescla and um when i got these right i met the actual person i made a video about it as well so some of you already saw it so i put the card in here to remind me like okay like when I brought these shoes, I met the person who actually made the shoes. So that was a pretty cool, like, memory for me. So that's how we're going to be doing this video. So let's get to it because we got a couple, we got a lot of sneakers, folks. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, try to stay, try stay through the whole thing if you can because uh, each shoe is special to me, people. I just don't buy sneakers just to show them off and just to tell you, yo, look at what I caught. Like, I actually do like the sneakers that I wear and that I purchase. Like, I'm obviously going to be wearing them. So I should... Uh, say that to you as well like buy sneakers that you love wearing don't just buy them to like flex or like to show people that you got this or that you got that if they're a hundred dollar shoes and you really mess with them then rock them you know because that's what i'm gonna do i do got a pair of hundred dollar shoes here as well and i'm gonna show y'all them sorry if i'm sweating by the way like it's really hot but shout out to my spongebob outfit i know you see the fits out here but let's get to the sneakers all right so let's start at the top so as you can see, I got a whole mountain of Yeezys up here. So I got the Yeezy Geo Dude right here. This is the uh, V V2, the 700. Uh, Y'all yeah, know how much I love 700, people. That's why I'm doing the 700. So this is a very special sneaker to me. Uh, brought this actually at the Adidas store for $300. Uh, retail right now. I mean, resale price is probably less expensive now. So looking back at it, kind of wish I got it for cheaper, like through StockX. But it is what it is. I really like this colorway. Um, very basic, very simple, but, you know. I like wearing black a lot, and this goes well with black. That's one right there. Right here, we got the Kyrie 2. This was a collab that they did with a... Uh, this was the What the Kyrie, actually. Uh, they always do a What the Kyrie model, and this is actually one of my favorites. Uh, I love the Kyrie 2 model as well. Um, so I thought this was a dope colorway. It has a lot of things going on. Like, And what I always like about this is the teeth. Like, the teeth is pretty cool as well. So, And it has the great, uh, the brown Kyrie symbol right here. Uh, Kyrie signature in the inside. And, yeah, just very multicolored. Like, I, I like the shoe a lot. Okay, what else we got? Uh, okay, we got the... Just Dons. We got the Spidey Man's right here. The Just Dons. I did a review on this as well. I was really excited with this purchase. Um, hundred dollar shoe, by the way. So there are affordable sneakers if you can't afford like two hundred dollar sneakers or things like that. Like you can afford a shoe like this, and you'll definitely be happy with it. Basketball review is amazing. Uh, it's very comfortable. The uh, Venom ones just also recently came out. The Symbiote. So uh, definitely cop those. Um, they are amazing. Once again, very comfortable. Spidey Man. Or should I say Spidey Man? Alright, next shoe, next shoe, next shoe. Alright, what we got next is the Duke Kyrie 3. One of my other favorite Kyrie models is the Kyrie Duke 3. This right here is phenomenal. Um, 
it celebrates the university that Kyrie Irving went to. As you all know, that is my favorite player. So shout out Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the house, right? So a uh, huge fan of Kyrie Irving. So I definitely got to get any sneaker that he drops, especially this one right here. I'm a big fan of this colorway. Um, very cool, especially when you put them together, it creates the actual Duke, like, like, left word. So D-U-K-E. Um, and yeah, that was the Duke. What else we got here? We got the Kyrie 5. The Kyrie 5 right here. This was the um, Duke colorway as well. This is actually different. It has the Duke logo in the back. Duke sign right here as well. Uh, blue flames, silver uh, check. Uh, just a dope sneaker overall. Um, very happy with this. This is my go-to basketball shoe to be honest with you. So I rock this a lot. Very comfortable shoe. Um, so yeah, if you if you see this out there, you should definitely cop as well. What else? Let's get back to the Kyrie's. We got the Kyrie Mamba mentality. Kyrie 5 once again. I definitely went on a rampage this year buying a lot of Kyrie 5's. Uh, overall, I was not a fan of the model, but uh, once I started seeing more colorways, I really got into the shoe. Uh, really love what they did with it. Um, he's a huge Kobe fan. I'm a huge Kobe fan, and this is a no-brainer. So um, I was really happy with this purchase as well. Uh, details is everything to me, people. And you can kind of see the snake snakeskin in here. Uh, green uh, slime stripe right here. Uh, the eye right there. Uh, eye as in the uh, um, mamba's uh, eye right there. Uh, the red speckles here. Um the Kobe slash Kyrie combined logo together, which is fire. Um, and yeah, very dope colorway in my opinion. Um, sort of Buzz like your colors as well. So it was, it was, it was a dope colorway. Very happy with the sneaker. I got to play more basketball with this though. All right, what else we got here? We got the Iron Man, another sneaker that I did a review on earlier um, this year. Uh, Tony Stark, uh, Marvel did a, a collab with uh, Adidas. Uh, very dope sneaker, 120 price point. Uh, very comfortable as well. Um, and yeah, this was a low-key sleeper. I feel like not a lot of people like were into this sneaker like they should have been if they're really Marvel fans. Like This is a must-cop. I'm not like the most into Marvel or things like that, but even I knew like this is a must. This is a must get people. You see, you got the Iron Man face right there. Uh, Stark Industries in the back. Come on, people, sleeping, sleeping on this sneaker, sleeping. All right, what else we got? We have oh, how can I forget? Inside here, right? Here we go. Here's the first memory. So we have a bunch of stuff that I got while I was um. While I was, when I had that sneaker, this was a letter that uh, someone wrote to me, one of my kids. Uh, as you all know, I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm also running an after school program. So I always get little nice gestures like this. And I like to say, uh, this is from a restaurant we did as well. I was really happy with this restaurant. Uh, it was a dope experience. Uh, we got to run a restaurant. Uh, shout out to the teacher that I work with. She's amazing, by the way. Uh, and then we also got this book. Like, I had these sneakers in my bag. I actually was not wearing them the day we got this book. But the fact that the sneakers were part with this book because they were in my bag. So it just it just reminds me, like, okay, I had these shoes in there. And this is a book that they made for me. Um, this is really dope. It has a whole bunch of pictures of the whole entire school year. I never got anything like this. So this, like, to me is very special. And I will always treasure it. So this was, like, some memories that came with this sneaker. Um, so, yep, that's, that's that right there. Is there anything up in here? Oh no, just like the, the money order and stuff like that. All right, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? All right, we got the Adidas blue tint. And inside I have actually a little Christmas ornament because uh, these sneakers I like to wear a lot in the winter. Now I know you're probably thinking like, why would you be wearing Yeezys in the winter? But I mean, people, it's called blue tint. Like you might as well, right? I mean, I wear my sneakers, so. I actually got a very nice gift from one of my other students, and um, yeah, so I was wearing these sneakers at the time, and it was a pretty cool ornament, as you can see, so I was pretty happy about that. All right, what else, what else? Uh, we have the Yeezy 700 alert, once again, 700 alert, uh, the Mauve, or the Mave, or the... Maui, however you want to call them, but this was a dope sneaker as well. This is actually one of my favorite Yeezys of this year. Um, very comfortable. Uh, this is my go-to when I go out. Um, it used to be the copper, but 
I love to rock these, like just the green right there. Um, once again, it looks like the Geo Dude. It's a very simple sneaker, but I like simple. Like it's not doing too much. The uh, gum bottom on the bottom as well. Uh, dope sneaker overall. Really happy with this purchase. All right. Another 700 alert, people. This right here, as you all know, this is the Yeezy 700 right here. The uh, runners. Uh, this, um, I was really excited about, to be honest with you, because uh, this is one of my third ever Yeezys that I copped. Um, shout out to the plug. Uh, he helped me out. He sent me the link. Um, and this is where I really got into this. For me to cop Yeezys once I started to figure out the tricks and the, uh, the, the like, kind of the cheat code towards it. I'm not going to give out my secrets. I'm not giving them out to you. But, um, yeah, it was really dope. So, I was really happy with the sneaker. As you can see, it's very beat up. I've worn it a lot. Um, I try not to wear it as much, though, because it is the only pair I got. There is a restock happening uh, in September. So, keep an eye out for that uh, and get yourself a pair. These are a must. If you are a sneakerhead, you got to have these in your collection. got to have them. All right, here. I got the... I got a lot here, actually. All right, we have the Clay Thompsons. Now, these are the uh, v, uh, V2 Clays. Uh, this was by far the uh, best sneaker that I have in this collection, in my opinion. Um, this took everything in me to get, as you all know from the sneaker review that I did on this sneaker. Um, I was literally like on five hours in the line online uh, trying to purchase a sneaker. And when I actually did wear them for the first time, I went to a special place with my brother, as you all know, Y2 Isaac. We went to the uh, WrestleMania Access. We didn't actually get to go to actual WrestleMania, but was the second best thing, WrestleMania Access, and we were able to get some autographs from some people. Um, I met, uh, it was really cool, because I actually didn't know Trent Seven was a huge fan of Yeezys. Like, we were, like, waiting in line to get their autographs, and, like, he immediately was like, yo, are those Yeezys? And I was, like, super excited, because, first of all, I was, thought I was losing my mind, because I was like, this guy's talking to me about Yeezys, and it was pretty crazy, and then we actually started talking about sneakers and stuff. And if I was, like, a, uh, like, legit like hype beast or like sneakerhead that had a lot of multiple pairs i definitely would have took them off and just gave it to him but uh since this is the only pair i you know i couldn't do it like that but if i did i would have i would have blessed him with the pair because he was actually the same size as me which is pretty dope uh, we also met keith lee uh we met a couple other wrestlers as well um and yeah so i wore this sneaker uh and this event happened at the same time. So uh, another memory that came from this shoot was the uh, Pokemon uh, movie that recently just came out, Detective Pikachu. We were able to cop some cards from there. Um, so pretty dope. This is a pretty cool memory as well because uh, it was the pack that came with it. Uh, most people got it as well. So it was the Pikachu and the side up. Um, pretty cool um, thing that the movie did. And I thought this was a pretty cool memory. So I put it in with the sneakers as well to just like... Remember that that happened that day, so it's the B2 play. All right, now we got that Supreme alert. As you all know, I did a video on these as well. This is the John Paul Gaultier Supreme uh, Vans collab that they did. Um, as you know from my review, I'm not going to really talk that much about this. But still haven't worn this sneaker. As you can see from the pouch, dead stock. Uh, I still haven't found the right out for this, but uh, be uh, sure that it's coming soon. Coming some people. All right, what do we got next? Now we got the Jordan Seven, the Pata, Pata, Pata. These as well have not worn them. I don't know when I'm gonna wear them. Uh, not a fan of Jordans as I used to be. Um, but this really caught my attention. I am a big fan of this colorway. Uh, I get Travis Scott feels. As you all know, I missed out on that shoe release. I was really not happy about it, but. What's the next best thing? This I feel like this is the next best thing in sort terms of pre presentation. Like the sneaker came in an actual box that showed you the sneaker. I never seen that before, so I was kind of happy with it. I have been thinking about reselling the sneaker, so we'll see. But uh, for the meantime, uh, to my collection, I like it. I do feel like it's gonna get dirty really fast, so I'm just afraid to wear them. But you can see the palette logo right there. Um, and yeah, dope sneaker. Not going in, so we're just gonna keep that there, people. Not going to that. All right, we got the semi frozen, semi frozen Adidas um, V2. Um, excited about this sneaker as well when I first popped uh, because uh, it reminded me of uh, like highlighters. So it's pretty cool because I was like, yo, it'd be mad funny if I grab a notebook and just start highlighting stuff with this because it looks like a 
like big size highlighter um, and yeah it's a dope colorway as well uh, not a lot of people mess with this I mess with it just because it, it did have a combination of the gum bottom I'm a huge fan of gum bottoms um, and yeah uh, easies what else uh, right here we got the uh, Right here we got the OBJ, another sneaker uh, video that I recently just did. Um, these are the uh, OBJ 720 Air Maxes. A uh, huge fan of Odell Beckham Jr. He's in the Cleveland Browns now and pretty excited about this cop. Alright, what else we got here? We got the Kyrie 5 Concepts IKEA collab. This is pretty fire as well. Um, a sneaker that has amazing details. Uh, this is a tattoo that Kyrie has on his arm. Um, the Concepts logo right there. The Concepts uh, words right there. Uh, Kyrie's logo right there. Um, overall, it's just a dope sneaker. Uh, once again, like I said, the Kyrie 5 model is a really dope model that like I, I really had no like What's the word? I didn't have any expectations going in when I saw the model, and they did so much with it. Uh, so I was pretty impressed. I was pretty happy with this collab. I wish I got the special edition box that came in the actual, like, e Egyptian box. It's really dope, but I didn't, but I'm so happy with the sneaker. All right, now we got the Kyrie Rocket. This right here was from the All-Star Game. Uh, Kyrie wore this. Uh, I feel like this sneaker should symbolize a lot now, to be honest with you. Because this is the shoe that he had on when he was talking to Kevin Durant backstage. And they were having a conversation about teaming up. So I feel like this this sneaker is more iconic than people think now. Because he had these sneakers on when he was talking to KD. And, he's, and they're both in Brooklyn now. So, who knows. Alright, next we got the... Yeezy V2 Butter Montequilla. This right here is a fire sneaker as well, in my opinion. It did get dirty really fast. Shout out to the kids. Uh, they be messing up my sneakers. I don't like. Be, I don't be wearing them that much. Uh, but yeah, it's a dope sneaker. Um, I don't have that many fits to go with this, and at the same time, I'd be scared to wear them. So I just kind of like to keep them in here, try to keep them safe, especially after this situation. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll find good use to these pretty soon. Um, and yeah, the laces are pretty cool as well. I did wish it glowed in the dark, but it doesn't. So, oh well. Uh, right here, we got the Hawkins High Stranger Collab. Um, as you all know, I did a review on this with the man, ooh la la. Don't really want to go much into it. You can just see the video. Um, just check out the video. Check out the videos. Next, we got another edition of the uh, Stranger Things Collab. Actually, this was my gold purchase. You can see the gold right there. And uh, yeah, this was a dope... Um, Dope sneaker. I uh, didn't do a review on this because Uala did the review himself, so I'm not really go gonna go much into this sneaker as well. But it's a dope sneaker. Um, yeah, I plan to wear this on my trip to Ohio soon. Next, we got the V2 Copper. Um, this is what started all, as you all know from the video that I did called Story Time. Um, I, I, I talked about how special this sneaker is to me and the friendship that came about from this sneaker uh, with. Chase Success, as you all know him, that's my best friend, and uh, yeah, this sneaker uh, represents a lot to me. This represents our friendship. I'm not saying our friendship is based on a sneaker, but it reminds me how much he did for me and how much he cared about me to give me this sneaker at the time, and he knew how much it meant to me. So uh, I will always remember this sneaker, and I, I don't think I would ever get rid of this. Right here, we got the Nike Cortez, the Kendrick Lamar joints. Oops. Uh, Kendrick Lamar joints. Uh, this is the house shoe. Uh, this right here is dope to me. Very comfortable sneaker. $100. A steal. Uh, no laces. Uh, you just slip them in, and uh, it's it's a fire sneaker. These are my go-to when I'm at work, people. Like, you want to be comfortable when you're at work, and I recommend these as well. Uh, and what, what just fell, people, is the... Uh, when I was wearing these sneakers, I had... I was running a uh, wingspan, which I still do, is an after school program. And um, we had to do this activity where you had to chop a board. And the Taekwondo instructor at the time, she said, Why don't you do one for yourself? So I did. And I wrote, like, you know, I want to improve, uh, be a stronger leader. Uh, preparation is always key when you're running an after school program. Having great communication uh, is also part of being a great leader and patience. I feel like when you work with kids, the biggest thing you need is patience. And for me, this board signifies how I want the second year as uh, my run as a site director to be. So I keep that in there because it's very special to me and it was a nice moment. So this, I was wearing these sneakers at that time. 
Now, right here, we got the Kyrie 5 Black History Months. Not really going to go much into these. Um, I did a review on these as well. Uh, you can go check it out. But it's, uh, it's a fire sneaker. All right, now we got the Kyrie 4s. Four alert. We got the Kyrie 4. These are the uh, Mama Mentality. This is the fourth edition of the Mama Mentality. Uh, very comfortable sneaker. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say about this one. The, uh, these right here, the LeBron uh, Atmos Safari uh, collab. I did a video on these as well. Um, go check it out. This is another sneaker that I copped. Very excited about it. Um, they're very comfortable, so I wore these as well. Right here we got the Yeezy V2. Um, we also have a menu of the restaurant we we're working in. Um, you know, so this is the restaurant that we did in school, and it's pretty dope. And these sneakers remind me of that restaurant as well. Um, these are the non-reflective. Um, I really haven't worn these uh, just a couple times, and uh, I kind of regret it because I kind of want to sell these. Um, I just, they're, they're just not my style. At the time when I copped them, I was really excited about it. Then, you know how you get, like, you, like, you see a sneaker, like, in pictures, and you're like, oh, that's a dope shoe, and then you get it in person, and you're like, eh, I don't know. Uh, this was sort of like a last-minute thing. Like, I was indecisive about it, and then, um, it's not like Yeezys are in stores. Like, they are, but I mean... When you get there, they're probably gone. So I bought these online, and then once I got them, I was like, eh, I don't know. I tried to wear a couple fits with them. I just couldn't do it. But, yeah, it's in my collection. Um, we'll see. I might get rid of them. I might, might wear them. We'll see. Who knows? Right here, we got the, the Nike um, Air React. Um... 270s um as i said i like i love these sneakers a lot um i've not gotten a chance to wear them but just the colorway in itself is fire uh, multiple colorings are uh, really much of a summer sneaker uh couldn't be more happier with this purchase um and yeah go watch the video though because i did a review on sneakers as well Right here, we got the Kyrie, another five. Uh, as I said, I did a video on these as well. Uh, these were the Kyrie fives, the Vapor Max collab that they did with the tennis company. Uh, it was pretty fire. Uh, Gold Swish, uh, Boston Celtic colorways. The like, very last time you're going to see him with these type of colors. So I was like, might as well. So I got these as well. Um, we got that zebra from Madagascar. You know, it's that zebra. It's that zebra. And, uh, yeah, these, these were fire as well. Um, I was really hyped when I got these. These were my, uh, I think these were my second Yeezys that I copped. Um, and I was really excited about it because I've been wanting to get my hands on these for the longest. Um, I was at a bar that night. Shout out to the plug once again. I was at a bar in Brooklyn. The plug hit me up saying, hey, look, they're on Foot Locker. You should go get them. Real quick, went on my phone, copped them, and I was really excited about it. So once again, shout out to my plug. I feel like with the Yeezys, like it's always my plug helping me out, like just sending me like links and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that, Brody. Keep sending them. All right, now we got the Paul George All Star Game joints right here. Um. We have in here as well, this is uh, something that one of the teachers made for me, one of the teachers that I work for. Uh, she does an activity with the kids where they have to sort out their uh, their their names and try to like match it. And this is pretty dope that she did one for me, so I was pretty excited about that. Uh, I was wearing these sneakers when she actually showed me that, so that's why it's with these sneakers. Uh, these are the beef and broccoli joints, that's how I always like to refer them, chicken and broccoli actually. Uh, these are the PGs, um, these are the ones he wore for the All-Star game. Uh, they're not comfortable on me to be honest with you. So I don't wear them as much, but uh, it's a it's a dope colorway. It's not a it's like ugly, but it's nice. Like me, ugly, but I'm nice. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, we got uh, we got something really nice here. We got the coming to America Greek Freak ones. Uh, I always wanted to do this. Uh, this sneaker actually has not come out yet, people. This comes out August 3rd. Y'all can check the date for yourselves. I got these in my hands. So I was really excited about this because I was not going to get these at first. And then Chase Success was like, yo, these sneakers really dope, bro. Like, I'm telling you, they nice. I'm just like, yo, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm not really liking it. It's just all black. <laughs> then once you look really closely at them, look closely at them. That's that leopard, Holmes. That's that cheetah, Holmes. That's, 
I'm getting safari vibes. Um, and yeah, I love the movie Coming to America as well. Uh, the top part that, uh, is all fur. That's that fur, people. That fur is fire. Uh, fur in the back as well. The gold swish is beautiful. Uh, you know, attention to detail is everything. And this sneaker overall is just a fire sneaker. And as I said, I always wanted to do this and be like, yo, you should get it before it comes out. Because I copped them already, so... Yeah, it's a little flex flex. I'm sorry, but like these, these shoes is fire and I was hyped that I got them early. Alright, what else we got in here? We got the Kyrie uh, Fours, the Black History Month. Uh, these are sneakers that I passed on to uh, Y2 Isaac. Uh, it's a sneaker that I used to wear a lot back then when I used to play basketball. Um, really comfortable, really comfortable sneaker. What else we got? What else we got in here? What else we got? Alright, we have the. KD 12, KD 12, E B Y L. Um, this is a collaboration. Uh, this is a peach jam. Uh, this is a collaboration with the uh, basketball summer youth league that they do um, every summer. Uh, every summer uh, they drop a collab with E B Y L, uh, Kyrie's, KD's. Uh, I don't think LeBron does any. I might be wrong, but uh, this is a dark colorway summer vibes. I love playing basketball, and this is definitely going to be a basketball sneaker that I'm going to be playing with this whole summer. Uh, best believe that. Uh, details, people, details. You got the polka dots right there. Some floral action right here. Uh, swish right here as well. Um, yellow insole. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really dope sneaker, people. I'm going to do a review on these two. These and the Greek Freaks, so coming soon. All right, that's everything that's on this wall. I do have some sneakers right here. Um, so right here, these were sort of my very first sneakers. Uh, as you can see, these are very beat up. They talk. They talk. They talk, people. They absolutely talk. These are the Foam Pilot um, Pros, uh, Slime Green. Um, I caught these uh, because I was playing basketball at the time. As I said, I love playing basketball, and I didn't really have a basketball sneaker, so I beat these up a lot um, when I used to play basketball. Um, I used to have some epic showdowns with Chase when we used to work at University Settlement, so it's really dope because uh, these bring back a lot of memories for me. Uh, it's when I first started um, work again because I had just previously broken my ankle. This was little little about like 2013 14 i believe um i broke my ankle playing soccer and it was really devastating for me because um i pretty much lost everything no joke like i really did lose everything i had to go to ohio that didn't work out i ended up back in new york and um i started getting into sneakers and these were some of the very first sneakers that i started buying and i kept these because they meant a lot to me so I brought these. Um, another shoe that I brought when I talked to the guy, it was a site called Macari. Uh, most of you might know that site. Uh, you could buy used sneakers there, and I bought both of these from him. Uh, these were the pearls, as you can see, like bad. I even tried to tape them. Uh, but they're very comfortable. I love foams. Unfortunately, foams are not as good as they used to be. They don't have nice colorways as they used to. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get all the old colorways if I can, but these was another pair of sneakers that I even marker to sort of make them even look better, but very beat up sneakers, but I keep them because I uh, remember these were the initial stages of when me and Joe Ash became friends and we were just playing basketball all the time and we were just grabbed like five, four kids each to just run a full court game in, um, in, in first and third street. I forgot the name of the school. He's probably going to correct me later on the comment section, but yeah, we used to play basketball all the time and uh, this was a dope sneaker. Like, I was really happy with this. And, uh, yeah, like, the other ones really don't have that much more significant value to me. Like, I feel like I got through the whole entire collection and told you that ones that meant the most to me. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate y'all sticking through, um, watching me talk about each sneaker. Um, I'm definitely going to do another uh, sneaker collection, an updated one in the future. But this was just a quick, uh, easy one just to celebrate 300 subscribers. I really want to celebrate it with my fans at the checkout. I'm really uh, happy that y'all support me straight up, to be honest with you. Um, 
it takes a lot for me to make these videos. I put a lot of hard work into this. And for you to watch and then give it a thumbs up, it really means the world to me. I appreciate y'all. So thank y'all for that. And um, yeah, so that concludes this episode of The Checkout. I am Julia700. Thank you for checking in once again. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Make sure to subscribe once again if you're new to this channel. And um, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments on the comment section on which sneaker you like the best for my collection. And uh, hopefully I can get y'all on the show as well. I would love to have guests. So comment your name underneath the comment section. Let me know if you would like to be a guest on the show. I would love to have you. Um, thank you once again, Julia700. Thank you for checking in, and I'm checking out. I'm so excited right now to present the sneakers. <laughs> so let's, why don't we do it at the same time, same actually, time? And then we talk about our shoes differently together. But uh, okay. all right, so we're opening it. This is the, uh, let's, let's start off with the presentation though, because it says Stranger Things inside the box. What I will say is for